Hey guys, so we're here with Moni. Um, she was here like 10 videos ago because she had been training for a half marathon. And now we have an update because she now ran. Um, she did again the 21K, but now she actually raced her for a, for a vir virtual half marathon. And this is so, this is her first official race. And so how did you do? I did good. I, I felt even better than the first time because I think I was, uh, um, I won't say I was well rested, but I was better rested than the first time. Um, I took care of what I ate the day before. Um, I don't know, I was, I was more focused this time. Especially because, as you said, it was like semi-official. So, yeah, I was, more I, was, motivated. I was really motivated. I wanted to register a good time. So, for the first um, kilometers, it was super steady. I was feeling great. Um, I wasn't tired at all. I was extremely focused, so I enjoyed it actually. I enjoyed it. I, I wasn't like suffering or anything because of what uh, what we talked about last time about the the height the yeah the height. How, how do you say it? Um, uh, altitude. The, the attitude. Yes. How long have you been training? I've been training since February. February. Yes. Okay. So the last time you did it, it was like three months ago, more yes. or less. Yes. So now you've been like you have been training for like twice as long. Yes, and actually you adjusted my my training, oh, yeah. so I believe that helped a little. And I don't mean it didn't work. I mean a little because it was uh, like a week before I ran the the virtual marathon, yeah. half marathon. So yeah. 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 So actually I adjusted it because I we have we have the Sedona race on February. I will talk about it later. Uh, so I adjusted like the calendar so she started like actually doing a training for, for that race and that began, that training began at the beginning of October so just like two weeks ago, three weeks ago and that's why you, your training changed a little bit uh, Yes, and I have to say I did, I did great I was, I was, uh, my target was to get a uh, 2 hours and 30 minutes for that half marathon. I did good. It was 2 hours and 42 minutes at the end. But I, as I said, I feel great. Um, I'm really happy with the time um, I registered. So I hope to do better next time. And it was like 15 minutes faster than last time, right? Yes. That's really good. In three months, I managed, I managed to, to, to hold a steady pace. Mm -hmm. I, I was able to, to upper the level at the end, but but I, I thought um, that was great. I, I like that, that I, yeah. I, I was able to keep a steady pace. Yeah, it's a lot, like to get better like that quick, to do like 15 minutes yeah. uh, less than your last time is really good. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, now you're gonna, are you gonna to continue training? Like, I'm gonna keep training, Like yes. the, okay. I'm actually gonna change something. I'm not gonna be uh, training on a treadmill anymore. I'm gonna be running outside uh, start, starting November. So let's see how that changes my training, how I feel. Oh, the attitude is gonna be uh, different, I believe. I'm not sure what the difference is, but it's gonna be better. I think it's like at least 600 meters, actually okay. probably maybe like one kilometer. Hopefully, yeah. I'm going to feel better <laughs> there. Yeah. You're way closer to the sea. Okay. Right. So she had been training for the... She had just started training for the the half marathon that we were supposed to be uh, running on February, next February, the Sedona half marathon. Uh, but as I just said last video, uh, when I talked about all the races that I'm going to run next year, uh, really, I felt that Sedona wasn't like really going to happen. We hadn't talked about it yet when I when I said that because I don't know. It feels I'm just gonna, I'm just repeating myself. It just doesn't feel like safe or it doesn't really feel like that. We don't know if the race is gonna be happening. And we just checked the website yesterday. And actually, I'm gonna show you. But there's a, a like a notice when you open the the, the website. It's a, it, it wasn't there before, and it says that. They don't even know if, if the race is going to happen, that you uh, you can uh, register under your own... Well, it's your responsibility and they don't know and they don't have the permits yet and they are not going to refund anybody, they're just moving to the next year. So like, we're not going to uh, register for that now because 
we don't really know what's going to happen. It, it probably doesn't, doesn't seem that it's going to happen. Uh, the Disney events for January and February are now virtual. Of course, there's like a lot more people running those, I think. But still, like most races uh, still are not going to happen by then, uh, as, we, as we see things now. So we decided to actually start looking for for a new uh, for a new race later in the year, hopefully, um, maybe May June, and then we don't know if the Mexico races are going to happen in July and August. But yeah, so May May June, and after that maybe September uh, or October. Yeah, so we're we're gonna we're gonna be. Um, Doing a little research Doing a little and research. taking into consideration the possibility of the Mexican um, races, yeah. just in case they do happen. Uh, we don't. And, a, and another option is to like we don't really find anything. Um, just wait until early next year and maybe register for the next year uh, Miami Marathon that we wanted to race this, well, on 2021, maybe we, we can just register for the 2022 one yeah. if we don't find any, any, uh, a better option, if we really want to, we really want to run that one. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that, uh, maybe we end up doing that, right? Right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so when, I, when we know, yeah, when we know which one we want to do, I'll let you know, guys. Thank you. Bye.